Cool. Okay, so here we are again. Uh, for this little one here, we're just gonna have a look at a level one rescue from descent mode, okay? So, uh, for a level one rescue, pretty much, there's two of us up here on ropes. Uh, my casualty here, he's on his set of ropes, you know, I'm on mine. Both of us are in our descenders. Uh, for whatever reason, something's happened to him. Needs a bit of assistance, can't get down himself. So, basically, I'm just gonna uh, come and get him, okay? So, initially, I have a little bit of height over, you know, my casualty. Okay, so what I want to do is just come down on my descender. There we are. I think my descender's roughly about level with his. Let's stop that asset rolling down too far. Okay, so now, um, now that I'm alongside, let's just get his rope out of the way. Make sure my ropes are out to the side as well. Okay, now, what I need to do is give him a couple of points of attachment so that I can get him off of his ropes and then both of us down to the ground. So the first point of attachment I'm going to give him is a spare cow's tail. So spare cow's tail, nothing else on it. Let's get that clipped straight into his uh, ventral, uh, you know, D-ring there, making sure that caravan is done up. That's our first point of attachment done. Second, I have a chain of two carabiners here. So this is what we call a hard link. Uh, I was going to use this to create a second point of attachment. So what I want to do is get carabiner at one end, clip that into his sternal or his full arrest attachment point there. Okay, again, just to quick double check that no ropes are going to get tangled. What I want to do here is I've got myself tucked just a little bit behind his shoulder just to make it a bit easier in terms of leverage. I'm holding the carabiners with one hand, just grabbing part of his harness there with the other. And all I'm doing is using my knee to provide a little bit of support, lift him up a bit and just clip that second carabiner onto the carabiner of my descender. Okay, so first point of attachment, second point of attachment. Always want to make sure ropes aren't tangled. Got all of that. Let's turn our attention to his backup device. He's using an ASAP, so let's unlock that. Ensure we've got free travel uh, both ways there. Because the ASAP is designed to auto trail or follow, I'm actually just gonna leave that one uh, you know, on his rope there. That's not gonna do any harm, okay? From here, let's reposition. I'm gonna move across into a bit of a straddle position here. By doing this, it just helps to hold the casualty upright a bit more, uh, makes it easier to monitor airways and breathing and that sort of thing, okay? And then what I'm gonna do from here is use his descender just lower them down nice and easy. Until all of his weight is hanging from my harness or from my descender, I should say. No more tension on his. So let's remove the rope from his descender there. Okay, that's no longer going to be in the way. Let's get that rope out of the way completely as well. Okay. And the final thing that I'm going to incorporate here, one more carabiner going to chuck that onto the front side of the descender carabiner, clip the tail end of the rope uh, from my descender into that, ensure that carabiner is done up, you know, as well. Okay, by holding the rope up through this friction carabiner, it just adds more friction to the descent system, and that just gives me greater control with two body weights instead of, uh, you know, just myself. Uh, ensure that my ASAP is also unlocked and going to roll down. Hold the tail up through the friction carabiner and we can start descending down.